Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. On this channel, I like to showcase the automotive culture and the positive impact it has on the community. However, today I wanted to talk to you guys about some changes that are coming up to the channel. Still will be showcasing the automotive culture. I think um, some of the, the videos that I've made um, covering some of the builds have been very helpful and successful. And I wanna kinda of take that momentum and roll into the future of this channel. Some of you may know, but I did start another company and that will be a video production company for small businesses. I'll be focusing on growing their digital footprint uh, for videos, for social media, for the website, etc., etc. In addition to that, I have been hired on certain media teams for some rallies and some upcoming events that I'll share shortly. So that being said, Boosted MPLS is more of a automotive media company. And I want those changes to reflect on the channel itself. So what changes are going to happen on the channel? So for the upcoming season and maybe in the future, um, I'm no longer just going to be covering um, random car shows. One, it doesn't produce too much traffic. Um, the car shows here in Minnesota or any specific car show won't drive any traffic to that video. And basically what happens is I get a few hundred views and then that video completely tanks off. Also, I've kind of lost interest in going to these car shows and just videoing all the, the cars in the car show and capturing that. It was good practice in the beginning. If you take a look at the videos I made when I first started this channel and the videos that I'm making now, there's a huge difference. And that comes with practicing at those car shows. However, I've, I've lost interest in going to the car shows to capture the car show unless it's a paid event. That may sound snobby, but it is a business decision, right? I put in a lot of time outside of my full-time job into some of these videos and it takes time. And honestly, I've lost interest, um, one. And then two, I'm more interested in spending time with the people there. My time is extremely limited. Uh, my focus is my family, my career, um, and then comes this channel and, 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 and the automotive side of things. So that when I'm at these events, I do want to spend that time that I have, you know, catching up with, with a lot of my, my car people. So those are the reasons that I'll likely stop um, doing kind of car show recap videos. Now, if you're hosting a car show and you want me to come shoot it, let me know. Hit my DM and we can talk. So what am I focusing more on? I'm focusing more on value-based content, right? So I want to... I want to continue driving the videos that I've seen success with, and that's more driving value to you, the user, right? So the behind the wheel segments uh, will still stay. I'll still be making those. Um, I do really enjoy making those um, as it does benefit you guys. Um, one, it's entertaining. And then two, um, if you had the same car, um, it gives you good ideas on what mods uh, other people have done and kind of gets you, you know, the user's brain kind of working. So those, those are definitely staying. The biggest change that you guys are gonna see is I'm going to start introducing some camera related uh, content. So I'm gonna be talking about photo, video, um, gear, uh, stuff that I use. Um, I'll try out specific lenses. Um, I'll do some POV stuff when I go out and take like my Instagram pictures, um, you know, stuff like that. There will be more camera stuff kind of integrated, um, but at the end of the day, it will always re remain focused, um, having a foundation in, in, the, in the automotive, right? If I'm testing a lens out, let's say I'm testing a new Sony lens, it will be how does it work with automotive photography, automotive videography, um, you know, s specific things like that. The channel will 100% still be grounded as automotive, um, but now because Boosted MPLS is a media company in a sense, um, and I'm more so an automotive filmmaker. Um, I, you know, I think it, it'll be beneficial. It also uh, creates another segment that is more searchable um, on YouTube, being the the world's biggest search engine. So I definitely want to utilize that. Um, I think that's worth my time. So you know, again, I have some videos coming out um, in the coming weeks. Um, more focus on like action cameras and, and where to mount it on your car and, and stuff like that. So I think that will be beneficial. But, you know, that's a good example that it will still be automotive uh, grounded, essentially. Uh, another change is I'm going to say it on the camera because I've been putting it off for a year or two now. And I do want to do some longer based 
automotive films in a sense of like documentary style. Um, I've been playing with the idea of like, you know, which uh, GTR to is the right GTR for you or right GTR for me. Something like that um, of a more, you know, short film, more so like, like I said, documentary style. I do want to do at least one of those a year and see how that kind of works out. But yeah, that, that really interests me, but I don't know if I have the time to do that, but I will definitely try. Also, I want to do more automotive DIYs. I think those are very helpful for people. Um, you know, even just outside of Nissan GTRs, um, it may come off as random in the, the upload schedules, but I think those DIY videos, especially, you know, us working in the garage and stuff like that, and you just want to look something up, how some, how something is installed. Um, I definitely want to have like a library of that. I don't know quite yet, you know, where to focus on. I think like one example, a good example would be like, you know, for BMWs, right? Whether it's an M3, M4, something like that, but doing like a full bolt on guide. Um, and kind of just focusing on that and then that stays on the channel that get, you know, when people search how to install downpipes on an M3, um, you know, I have something to, to help them out with. So if it's random, I apologize, but I'm going to take a, any opportunity that comes to me. Um, if I can do a DIY, I definitely want to do that, um, to help you guys. I definitely, definitely, definitely want to put more GTR content, um, one of my goals this year, this summer, if I get time, is I want to make a Nissan GTR maintenance guide um, and make that as like a playlist, right? So everywhere from, you know, your basic oil change to how to remove the transmission. Um, you know, certain things like that, I need to have the right opportunities lined up. Um, so that will be challenging, but you know, you gotta set your goals high um, where even, you know, when you look at them, you're just like, wow, you kind of scare yourself. But if you don't put your goals that high, um, you'll, you'll never come close to them. So, and lastly, I, I want to integrate more motorsports on the channel. Um, so I definitely want to spend a little bit more time on the track. Um, I definitely want to bring you guys behind the scenes. Like for example, as I mentioned earlier in the video is that I was hired on, on the media team for a rally it's uh, the whiplash rally. So I'm hired on to basically get content for them um, to help for their video, for future um, advertising, marketing uh, materials, whatever the case may be. <clears throat> but I've been hired on as a hybrid shooter, meaning I'm taking pictures and videos and I'm kind of filling in the cracks that the other, you know, big photographers, big video uh, videographers, uh, like Golden Peaks is going to be the, the the main video company shooting that that rally. Um, you have you know photographers like Nightfall Visuals, um, you know co co covering the the stills on that event. And so I kind of want to bring you guys behind the scene. Um, I think I don't want to vlog. I don't want this channel to be about me and my face. Um, I really want it to benefit you guys. I, I'm not. I don't like that. I'm I'm not here to be popular or anything like that. I'm here to be helpful. And then also, you know, kind of unleash this creativity that I have um, via cars, right? So I wanna kind of bring you guys behind the scenes on that stuff. I think that, that'll be really good. I'll definitely be putting more behind the scenes like on my stories on Instagram. Um, I think that'll be very helpful um, and give kind of a, you know, a little personal touch uh, to the brand. But yeah, so I mean, no drastic changes. Um, any business person will tell you pivoting is inevitable, right? The only constant thing in life is change. And so it's inevitable. There's certain things that aren't really worth my time anymore. Um, and so I want to focus on providing value to you guys. And I think via those things that I've made notes about, I think that drives, you know, the, the value based content of this channel and of the brand in general um, to help you know, a few different segments uh, of audiences, right? You have the automotive audience, you have the um, the audience that is photographers, uh, cinematographers, videographers, whatever the case may be. I think tying those kind of into one um, can be really beneficial to you guys. And I think a little bit more fun. I think I can produce a lot more content much faster um, with having that kind of, uh, you know, niche, if you will. Uh, so there's only a couple other automotive videographers that are kind of doing this thing. So I think it's, uh, 
I think it's unique. I think it's unique. I think it's beneficial to everybody, like I've said. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys listening to, through this whole video, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.